Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a movie I rented out of the Redbox recently. This is the 2011 comedy remake, Arthur. Arthur sees a wealthy playboy uh, who is looking to lose his inheritance when he falls for someone that his family does not approve of. Ooh, sucks for you. Anyway, Russell Brand plays Arthur. Arthur, of course, is the billionaire playboy. Duh. Helen Mirren plays Hobson, who is Arthur's nanny. Greta Gerwig from uh, Greenberg fame, that's what I reviewed her in last, plays N Naomi Quinn, who is the girl he falls for. Jennifer Garner plays Susan Johnson, who is the uh, woman that his mother is going to make him marry. Geraldine James plays Vivian, that is Arthur's mother. Louise Guzman plays Bitterman, who is Arthur's chauffeur and best friend, I guess. And uh, Nick Nolte plays Burt Johnson, Susan's Faja. So, what did I think of Arthur? I thought it was, uh, you know, I thought it's a pretty good, uh, funny comedy remake. Um, I think everyone wishes that they had this money that Arthur has, uh, that he has in the film, you know. It's, uh, I would love to have that kind of money. Anyway, I haven't seen the original Arthur yet. So it's hard for me to compare and contrast, but uh, from what I've been told, the original is superior, and that there are actual lines from the original film that ended up word for word in the remake. So uh, that's interesting. But anyway, uh, I enjoyed the story of the billionaire who could lose all the cool stuff he has and uh, all his money for a girl. You know, it's kind of, it's like, wow. Uh, it's all great fun to see Arthur's spending uh, habits uh, all as well. Like the time when he uh, buys a spoon for thousands of dollars, an antique spoon, and then he just sort of gives it away. Not that that's really a spoiler, but anyway. Um, <laughs> the cast does a great job. I thought Russell Brand is a, a blast as Arthur. Um, and he's proved, if this makes any sense at all, while I was writing this, that he's a comedian to take seriously. Not like doing dramas and whatnot, but he's an up-and-coming comedian, definitely. He's, he'll probably hit Hollywood pretty hard. Um, Helen Mirren is great as always. Can't say anything bad about Helen Mirren. How she got into Mr. Skin's top uh, five of greatest nude scenes is a question to me, but, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Jennifer Garner does well as the bitchy wife-to-be role, of course, and, uh, Gerwig, I thought she's pretty cute in the, uh, role that Arthur falls for. Of course, gotta know it, I love the Star Wars and Batman references. That's just, like, awesome. It's got good comedy for the guys, they'll enjoy that, and the girls, well, I'm sure, will like the romance portions of the film, and, you know, maybe they'll laugh, too. You know, while some critics really didn't care for this one, I enjoyed it, and I definitely think if you're a fan of Russell Brand, definitely check it out. So, therefore, the A-List gives the film Arthur the rating of Do It. If you're interested in seeing Arthur, you can find it through Netflix. Do like I did and get it through Redbox, because you want to be Wes and be awesome. Or you can find it at a DVD store near you. So, until tomorrow's review, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube and go back and watch all the other videos. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course, check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com. So until tomorrow, peeps, troop, 